and help me pick up some pairs for the pigs. Okay. I wanted to have one of my friend Claire's pigs. When she gets the pigs, she puts out an email to her list of people who are interested. And she sent one to me. I had wanted one for a long time. I answered immediately, so I got half a pig. So how big are the pigs now? I think they're going to be a little bigger than they usually are. I think they're going to be close to 300 pounds. Because I'm a food writer and because I am very interested in finding out more about where my food comes from and what's involved in putting it on my plate, I uh, contacted her and asked her if she'd be interested in doing it as a project and letting me come out and visit the pigs and get to know the pigs. Come on, boy! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Good boys. Good boys. Hi. Then stay through the slaughter and do the butchering and basically cook it and use it and do that as a writing project. You want another one? How did you come to ma name your pig? Uh, actually, Claire named it. She named both of them after the uh, characters on Mad Men, Roger Sterling and Don Draper. This one, this is Raja. If you just stand here and scratch him, he'll hold perfectly still. He loves that, whereas Don tends to go right for the food bowl. Oh, yeah. You just make every day of their life the best day. Yeah. And then, you know, they only have one bad day. And that's, you know, obviously the day they're slaughtered. And that's, I think that's a really wonderful way to look at it. That these are happy pigs. They, they're on pasture, they've got lots of room, they've got each other, and uh, they're appreciated and, and treated well. Yeah. Doing our best. Yeah. But yeah, I get kind of choked up when I think about, you know, being here for the kill and the whole after part. Because, you know, having a relationship with your food is a lot more complicated than I thought, you know, than I was anticipating when you're used to just going to the store and yeah. buying the food and getting pieces of things, right. which I totally appreciate. Yeah. For me, it's just more important to kind of know that this is a real creature, that he has feelings, that he's an individual separate from Don, and uh, that he's funny and kind of a, just like a big dog. And I'm going to eat him. I didn't sleep much the night before. It was, uh, I was thinking about Roger a lot. You know, this is it. He's going to be dead tomorrow.